Welcome to Cellarat TV with your host, the Cellarat Addison Rex. Thanks for catching the world premiere. For the first show, I'm going to take you on a tour of where I live and work. So come with me, we'll take a sneak peek behind the scenes at Deerfield Ranch Winery. So I thought we'd start our tour by showing you around the crush pad. Alright, welcome to the crush pad. This is where we do all the work and where all the wine's made. Let's check out a couple of the tools of the trade, a couple of machines we use, and a couple of the places that we keep the wine while it's being fermented. In this modern day and age, we use lots of specialized pieces of equipment to make wine, but one indispensable tool of the trade has got to be the forklift. Those barrels of wine are heavy, and we use forklifts every single day to get the job done. I just cannot imagine uh, being a cellar rat without one. I mean, you got to be a good forklift driver to be a good cellar rat. Uh, let's talk about the pieces of equipment that we use uh, to sort the grapes once the berries come in from the vineyard. This right here is uh, the dumper. And all it does is it tilts the bins of grapes up onto the sorting table. And the sorting table is where we remove all of the sour grapes or the raisin grapes. And they fall off the end of that machine into the destemmer, which uh, gently whacks the berries off of the stems. And the berries fall straight down in the bottom machine. The stems fall out the end. And the berries fall onto a shaking table. And the shaking table simply uh, vibrates back and forth and it catches a lot of the shot berries, which are like little uh, green, undeveloped grapes. And it catches some more of the stems and some more leaves that maybe uh, we missed in the first sort. And they fall into another sorting table where we just uh, take out, you know, anything else that we don't want. We have a really high level of uh, expectation at Deerfield, and we really just want to make sure that just pure, beautifully ripe berries make it into our wine. Uh, next. Uh, the wine is uh, fermented, and after it's been fermented, it then goes into the press. And the press is a really cool machine. It uh, has a big bladder inside it, inside that, uh, that steel cylinder, and it fills up with air and squishes the berries against the outside of the mesh, and all of the juice gets pressed out. And afterwards, it's, it's incredible how dry the skins are that are left over. Uh, after the wine has been fermented, it's really important that it stays in an airtight space, which is why we use closed top fermentation tanks, and we have those outside on our crush pad uh, with heat-controlled setups. Uh, also, if the, if the wine has to go on the move, we have a couple of these cool porta tanks, which uh, can be loaded up with wine and put on a truck and uh, moved around, which is not ideal, but they also have refrigeration units on the back, which is pretty cool. And last but not least, we have our barbecue, which uh, is essential for cellar rat personnel like myself, because our cellar rats get hungry and we have to eat.
<laughs> Welcome to the barn. This is where we ferment most of the grapes during the season. Right now it's not the season, so all these tanks here are empty. These guys are open pot fermentation tanks. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in here. And we've got three outside on the crush pad, so we've got ten open pot fermentation tanks total. Lab is upstairs. Come on. I don't think they know we're coming. Come on into the lab. Our lab tech in hand is part of the book right now. 